Gibbons. I'm Commander Gibson, and I'm back. I know it's been a long time, you guys. I'm sorry about that. I got sick for quite a while, and then I got some uh, a lot of work to do. So I haven't had a chance to make any videos. But now I found a little bit of time, and I want to talk to you a little bit about Elite Dangerous in VR, specifically on the Oculus Rift. I got an Oculus Rift a couple of months ago. I was hoping to also get a Vive, but that one ended up getting lost in the mail. And I decided to just stick with the Rift. So recently, the Rift performance has uh, gotten a bit of a tweak due to something called a synchronous space warp. And now uh, what that does is very technical. I'm going to put a link down in the description uh, for some more information. But basically what it does is it uh, can double your frame rate down from 45 back up to 90 with a little bit of uh, synth synthetic frames and some reproduction magic. Uh, to make it look like you have a good frame rate, even though it's only down to, say, around 45 frames per second. Now, this recently just got uh, enabled. We still kind of have to do it with the, the reg edit to get it to work on your computer. And I'm going to put a link down that into a Reddit post so you can do that as well. Uh, so what I did now is I went through on the Beta 6 from Elite Dangerous and I messed around with the asynchronous space warp with the Oculus Rift to see what kind of performance we can get with the frame rates. I'm going to go through the SRV training and the ship launch fighter training and we're going to see by the stats and I'll describe what's going on how it feels. Alright, let's get to the footage. Alright, so for our first test we're looking at the ship launch fighters on VR Ultra with Bloom and Blur turned off because I don't like Bloom and Blur. Alright, so if we look at the screen here, we can see on the bottom it says Elite Dangerous 2.2 Beta 6, and then it's got your frames per second. Uh, when the frames per second is high enough, it's green, then it goes to yellow if it starts to dip, and red when it's 45 and below, and that's when the ASW starts to kick in. Now this first test we're doing ASW off, so it's going to be whatever the frame rate is, the frame rate is, and it's not going to be doing any kind of that reproduction magic. Now on the left side of the screen, this is the information coming from my, F my MSI Afterburner. This is version 4.2, and at the top I've got GPU temperature, then GPU usage, core clock megahertz, memory usage, CPU temperature, CPU usage, and then finally RAM usage on the bottom. All right, so while we're watching this, we got a few terms we should go over here. There's jitter, judder, frame drop, and blur. Now, uh, jitter is when you can see things on the outside of your ship uh, when it starts to jitter. I think everybody knows what jitter is. You know? uh, judder is a little bit different. Judder is when you move your head inside a VR, and it takes you know a split second for the representation of your head movement to catch up. And yeah, so we call that judder. Frame drops, uh, that's just, you know, everybody knows what a frame drop is. And blur is when you're using like uh, ASW or AST and uh, it makes everything on the outside kind of blur so it doesn't jitter. And usually that's kind of the trade off with AST and uh, just the regular frames per second. Now in the example we just watched, uh, our frames rate w did dip down a little bit, but it didn't cause any jitter or judder, which is very important. Judder is the worst. And there was no blurring because there was no uh, ASW going on or anything like that. Now this video is with ASW set to auto. Now what that means is once your frame drop, frame rate starts to drop down to 45, it'll kick in right down to 45, and then it will reproduce the synthetic frame so you don't miss uh, any any missing frame. So there's no jitter, there's no judder, uh, but you may see a little bit of blurring if uh, frames rates drop too far. Now, so far, we're not seeing any ASW kick in. The frames rate are staying pretty high. Uh, there we go. Now it's dropping down. We're in combat, and we're getting close to the enemy ship. So ASW has kicked in, but you're not really going to see uh, any difference. For me, it's the transition between standard and ASW has been absolutely smooth, especially with this example. If I hadn't kept an eye on my frame rates or anything like that, I would never have known that ASW was kicking in. And that is the beauty of ASW. You can kick it down to 45 frames, do the synthetic frames along with AS AST, and you're not going to have any the jitter, the judder, and everything is going to be uh, looking nicely. So you can see here we're pretty much locked at 45 this whole fight until we start to back away here in a little bit. 
And this whole time, while I'm in the VR, it looks like it's 90. You know, you really just don't see any kind of difference. Now I'm going to put my uh, my computer specs down in the description so you know what I'm working with. But uh, just just off the top, I've got an i7 and a GTX 1080 that's overclocked, and both are water cooled, so that's why you're seeing my temperatures really aren't moving at all. They're staying nice and cool and quiet. And now you can see the frame rates just drop back up now that the ship is destroyed and the combat's over. So the ASW really only kicked in when we're in close combat with another ship. And I have tested this out in uh, the asteroid fields as well, and the ASW does kick in there as well. Okay, so now our next example, we were gone, we've gone over to the SRV training. And again, this is VR Ultra with Bloom and Blur turned off and with ASW off. Now, you can't really tell too much just by this video, uh, but you can see the frame rate dip in here, so that's going, to, that's going to tell you that it is going to be a good candidate for ASW. But when I look outside, out at the mountain ridges there, I do see uh, some jitter out there. Now, it's nothing major, but it is something that is noticeable. So, that's definitely... SRV, I think, is going to... Your S S SRV experience is going to be much improved with ASW, I think. All right, so now we're transitioning down to the SRV, and you see frame rate's okay. And then once we get dropped down here, you can see the frame rate just cuts down into the red, which is not great. And I can see when I start moving here, a little bit of shaking when I'm looking at the ship and the mountainside. And again, this is ASW off, so really this is just because the frame rates are getting a little bit too low, and we're getting some jitter outside of this ship. Now, the frame rate isn't so low that it's causing judder, which is from your head movement. So I'm not getting any of that. My head movement is still nice and smooth, which is very important for VR. And when we get ASW turned on, we're going to see that uh, that really helps out there as well. All right, so we're kind of moving up on the camp here. We've got the target that we're supposed to go to. And uh, the reason we're testing here with the SRV is down on the planet is really when we get the most problems with frame rate. Even if you're just playing in 2D, uh, rendering the surface of the planet really pushes on your GPU. And you can see that my GPU usage here is kind of shaking around a little bit. Uh, it's not very steady. And I think this is a part of... Oh, oh, almost flipped. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, GPU usage. Uh, even when you're playing on 2D, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty flat. But I think now that I'm playing on the Oculus Rift, uh, yeah, the, it's not quite as optimized as it would be on the 2D. All right, so we're now approaching the structure, and I'm keeping an eye on the GPU usage to see if it dips at all now that we're going into a structure. But it doesn't look like it, and everything still seems pretty smooth when you're just looking around here locally. So now we're popping up to the turret view. And, uh, interesting. It doesn't look like we can fight through that plate. Yeah, it looks like we have to aim around it. Here we go. Now the hole is dropping. Uh, do a little bit of power management. Alright, we've got our explosion. And if you haven't done this SRV uh, training yet, you just have to blow up the thing and then scan the POI. And then you're good. I think it's good training. Uh, this one's new, uh, I believe. I don't remember seeing this before the 2.2 beta. And of course, the SR, or not the SRV, but the ship launch fighter training is new as well. All right, so I'm just kind of looking around here, and usually when you move your head around rapidly is when you're going to see some either blurring if uh, AST is enabled or a little bit of jittering uh, otherwise, but it, it looks pretty good while we're just in here. And, I mean, when you look further out is when you really notice it. But, all right, now we're going to do the same thing again, but this time with ASW in automatic mode. So, again, that means once the frame rate drops, ASW kicks in and starts to reproduce those frames. Right, so I'm just doing a roll here and looking around, seeing if I can see any of that jittering that I saw before. And everything looks pretty clear. I would say that in this example, the ASW does make it look better. I'm not seeing any of that jitter out there that I saw before out looking at the mountains. So that's that's a huge plus here for the ASW. 
So there's also a couple other things we can talk about with the 2.2 beta and VR. Uh, the first one is they changed the FOV, you know, the field of view, on the second screen. So they pulled it back a little bit. I still think it's a little bit too close. I'd love to see them put the field of view at a minimum of 70. And even up to 100 I think would be good. I don't know how much that would affect performance, but I think it would make a lot better video making. Alright, so now when I'm looking at the ship here, when I'm going by, it's not jittering at all uh, in the CV-1, which is great. ASW is doing its job, and it didn't look blurry at all either. So, yeah, ASW is really being a champ here once it gets down to the lower frame rates here on the planet's surface. And another thing we can talk about, they've changed how we can do uh, super sampling. Uh, before, if you were using the CV-1, you had to pretty much pull up the uh, Oculus okay, debug tool and do your super sampling there, and that would affect uh, anything that you've seen through the CV-1. But this time, they moved the HMD, which is, you know, stands for Head Mounted Display, super sampling right into the Elite Dangerous settings, which is really cool. So if you can do VR Ultra, if you've got, you know, a powerful card, then you can bump up your... Uh, your super sampling for the HMD up to give yourself a little bit clearer picture. Uh, now, like I said before, I've got the GTX 1080 and I can handle putting it up to 1.5 on the HMD super sampling and still have a very good experience, especially when ASW is on. Uh, everything is nice and smooth, no jitter, no judder. And uh, yeah, it's it really is a uh, great improvement with the Elite Dangerous 2.2 update. And I think the last piece of the puzzle is the new yeah, NVIDIA drivers. I believe it's 370.06. Uh, they really did a good job optimizing VR on the latest drivers. Even before ASW was activated, I saw that there was a huge performance boost. It wasn't as dramatic as with ASW, but it was a performance boost just in a, in of itself. Okay, so I think we basically covered uh, all the basics here. So just to recap, ASW isn't uh, activated automatically. You do have to do it with the registry edit. Uh, I, I'm going to put some instructions down in the description so you know how to do it. And uh, it's supposed to be baked into the Oculus Rift SDK here pretty soon. And hopefully it gets activated for the AMD cards as well because it's going to be a big boom for everybody. So I'm excited for it for VR because before I wasn't really getting into VR uh, just because it's so hard to keep that 90 frames per second. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching everybody. I do appreciate it and I will see you commanders in the black.